I'm in my jammies. And this is behind the scenes of creating a channel, aka all the crap that went wrong when I tried to do this. Okay, so I thought I had it figured out. I had mapped out video ideas, I had got a decent camera, and had all these plans. I have a tripod and a ring light. I'm in business. I thought, man, I'm gonna start out like not like an amateur. I thought I got this. And then I realized I was so wrong. So I realized that I'm not a pro by any means. Like this will be my what? I can make number six video? Okay, well, so clearly I don't fully know what I'm doing yet. There's a lot of things I have to improve on. I just thought it'd be cool to capture the cluelessness as it occurs. First off is storage space. That is something that for some reason did not occur to me. Like I thought, yes, I want to have a decent camera. Great. Decent camera means even bigger files. So I went to put this stuff on my computer and realized I had no space. My hard drive was red, red, like, hey, alert, I'm gonna die. So once I figured this out, I explored other options. I had the option of putting more hard drive space in my computer, but then it was the question of can my computer handle it? And then there was the option of an external hard drive or putting it on a flash drive or paying for a Google Drive. Lucky for me, I have a super awesome daddy who's a total wizard when it comes to computers and he was able to say, hey, here are your options. So you can do many routes. What I decided was to put more hard drive space in my tower because my system could handle it. Barely, but it can. That'll be a future problem if it like bursts in the flames or something. Next on the list is editing your video. I knew editing was gonna take a lot of time, but I don't think I realized the magnitude until I actually sat down with my first video and tried to do it. You need to be aware that editing is going to take a lot of your time. It's gonna take more time to edit the video than it probably took to shoot the video. And this is gonna require investment because depending on how much money you have to put into this initially depends on whether you're using the free Windows Movie Maker or paying for some like billion dollar software. The type of software you have will determine how easy it is to do things and what you're able to do. So make sure you don't have some great wonderful plan for your video but are using Windows Movie Maker and then it takes 10,000 hours for you to get anywhere close to what you wanted and then your file corrupts. This will probably be one of the most tedious parts about making videos and you need to be invested to get through that part to get the product that you want. Now personally I don't mind editing that much. I don't absolutely love it when things go wrong and sometimes things are difficult and I feel like they don't work for absolutely no reason other than to frustrate me. But editing is a process I don't mind too much because to me it allows me to bring my vision to life. This is my means to getting my video exactly what I want. This is my chance to fine tune it and cut out all the parts where I swear a lot and sound ridiculous. Third on the list is compatibility. I do not mean all the preteens and their little lovers. Now I don't have too much to say about this one, but it is really important to note that sometimes the things you record might not work with the editing software that you have. Now I ran into this problem when I got this camera and tried to put it into Windows Movie Maker, which is what I had before I got what I have now. So I had this camera and I started recording and everything was fine, but then I went into the camera settings and boosted the audio quality and the video quality. And then when I tried to take that and put it into Windows Movie Maker, all of my audio was lost. And I was like, no, you can stop it now. Number four is nerves. Now I'm gonna be real good at explaining this one because before each one of these cuts, I had to take a deep breath so I didn't sound like I ran up a flight of steps. <sighs> I had so many good ideas, at least, well, I think they're good ideas, before I started doing this and I had it all written out, I had it all mapped out, and I have a script right here that I keep looking at, but as soon as I step in front of this camera, I am in a whole new world. Like, the field of view of this camera is just filled with oodles of anxiety for me. But it's really important to remember that that's just part of starting this. It's part of starting something new and that you will get used to it and you will adjust. And I'm also sort of telling myself this as I have a heart attack. I knew that's what it was going to be like when I started. 
but I also know that this is something I really, really want and I'm willing to get through that. The question is, are you? Five, the details. Getting down to the nitty gritty. There's a bunch of little things that I did not think about until after my first video was posted. That is, how am I gonna promote myself? How am I gonna design my channel? What am I gonna say at the beginning and the end of my videos? These were a whole bunch of things I did not think about. My channel art, I did not think about that. So there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration that I don't think we realize other creators do. There's also a lot of legalities involved as far as copyrights and rules that I don't think we realize. Like I pulled out my vlog camera the first day and I vlogged everything and everyone around me and then I realized, wait a second, I didn't ask permission to record any of those people. Just keep in mind there's going to be a lot of things you can't plan and prepare for. There's going to be a lot of things that you hadn't even thought of until you start and that's okay. And lastly, number six on list is the patience. And by this, I don't mean the patience it's going to take to write a script, and I don't mean the patience it's going to take to sit there and spend hours editing a video. I mean the patience it's going to take for anyone to see your video, even though it's on the internet. After I post every video, I literally stare at my screen like it's the most interesting movie I have ever seen in my entire life. It's just important to keep in mind that not everyone is going to see it immediately. That means that you're not going to get 100 subscribers overnight, you're not going to get 100 views overnight, and you're not going to get a ton of comments overnight. These things are going to take time, and you're not going to be a pro right off the bat. There's going to be a lot of things you do wrong, there's going to be a lot of things you do better next time. You just got to learn from your mistakes and move forward. I mean, even throughout the course of this video, there's quite a few things I thought about. Like, make sure you go pee before you start. Make sure you have some water around before you start. Make sure your camera's charged before you start. These are all things that usually don't occur to me until I'm halfway through. But, eventually, I'll know next time. And I'm sure I've barely scratched the surface on all the things I have yet to learn. So in case this video so far has left you completely dumbfounded and reevaluating your entire plan, I have some questions for you to try and get your thoughts flowing again in a good direction. First of all, are you willing to put in the time and the effort? Are you willing to put in the work it's going to take to make this successful and make this what you want? See, I think for me and probably other creators, the good part about this is it doesn't feel like work. It's something you enjoy, it's something cool, it's something you get to work on that's completely yours. And the best part is you don't have a boss. Next is, what will your brand be? Will you use your name? Will you use a fake name? Will you use something that isn't a name, like Happy Philosopher? And how do you want to promote yourself? I realized after I started my channel that I don't have any social media. I've never had social media and I'm not really a huge fan of social media, but I realized that's where the rest of you are and so that's how I would need to communicate with any new followers or viewers. Then what will be your style or your thing? Like I guess this sort of falls into intro and outro, but just something I've observed and haven't really even figured out for myself yet is a lot of YouTubers and creators have some sort of thing that they do daily or weekly that's just theirs, like Lily has toilet talk. And Rhett and Link have their wheel spinny thingy. And now prepare yourself because I'm going to get a little bit deep on you here, but are you passionate about it? Now I started to touch on this a little bit before, but being passionate about it is something that's really important. At first, at least, don't concern yourself with what people want to see, but what's going to make you happy. If you're looking at this as a career, don't pick something that you're not going to enjoy the rest of your life. That's why they make jobs like accounting. YouTubers, creators, they enjoy it because it's what they enjoy most. It's something that they really are passionate about and care about. And this is going to make it so much easier to put in that effort and put in that work and get through the parts that maybe aren't as fun as actually doing the videos. Lastly, and most importantly, the internet is a really powerful place. If you want to be an internet personality, you have to decide now what kind of personality you're going to be. What kind of impact are you going to make on the community and the people you touch? Are you going to be positive or negative? You have to make the decision to decide how you want to present yourself to the rest of the world. I made the conscious effort to make positivity the goal of every video, and that's the mission I set out on. With that in mind, just remember that positivity is going to go a lot farther and make a much better impact than negativity will. 
Think about the biggest creators on YouTube. What do they strive for? I mean, Lily Singh, Rhett and Link, Lord DIY, Alex Wasabi, all across the spectrum, positivity is what's going to prevail and is what's going to be the biggest and best impact. trying to figure out an ending. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> are you gonna stop it now? Oh, we're, oh, we're just gonna keep going? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. well then, improv time. Oh man. Now that you know how hard I worked on that video and how much I had to have him keep stopping and starting that camera. <laughs> wow, I'm so bad at this. I had to tell her to breathe. Yes, he did have to remind me to breathe, but I got it. I got the oxygen in me. <laughs> this is what matters. But since you know how hard it is, it is uh, uh, uh. since you know how difficult this was, including all of that wonderfulness, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, and leave some comments that probably aren't too mean, although I'd understand on this video. Oh. <laughs>